Does the G-spot really exist? What are the health benefits of masturbation? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. The G-spot is a zone in the vagina believed to provide intense pleasure to some women. While its existence and location are debated, many women report increased arousal and orgasms by stimulating this area. Masturbation has several health benefits, such as relieving stress, improving sleep, releasing mood-enhancing endorphins, and helping individuals understand their bodies and sexual preferences. Empowerment of the partner. Valuing and supporting the growth and success of the partner is important in a relationship. The influence of the moon. Some people believe that the moon's phase can influence libido and sexual behavior. Although lacking solid scientific evidence, this belief persists in some cultures. Influence of alcohol on sex. Alcohol can affect sexual function in various ways. While it may lower inhibitions, excessive alcohol can hinder erection in men and arousal in women. Intense gaze. An intense and penetrating gaze can be attractive, suggesting confidence and emotional connection. Kegel exercises. Kegel exercises are not only for women. Men can also benefit from strengthening the pelvic floor muscles to improve the quality of their orgasms and control ejaculation. Relationship. Between depression and decreased sexual desire, depression can impact sexual desire and many individuals struggling with depression may experience a decrease in libido. Treatment and support can help address this issue. Medications and orgasm. Some medications, such as antidepressants, can affect a person's ability to reach orgasm. This is a known side effect of certain medications. Myths about virginity. There are many myths surrounding virginity, such as the belief that breaking the hymen is a sure sign of virginity loss. In reality, virginity is a social and cultural construct. Multiple orgasms. Unlike men, many women can have multiple orgasms in a single sexual session without a refractory period. This means they can have several orgasms in succession without needing a break no relation to sexual orientation. Engaging in anal sex is not related to sexual orientation. Both heterosexual and homosexual women can enjoy this activity. Orgasm and pregnancy. Female orgasms may have a positive effect on pregnancy. Some research suggests that orgasms may increase the chances of conception, possibly due to contractions aiding sperm movement. Female orgasm in mammals. While the female orgasm is common in humans, it is less common in other mammals. Its function in reproduction remains a topic of debate. Paraphilia refers to sexual attraction to unusual objects, situations, or activities. Examples include exhibitionism, voyeurism, and fetishism. Paresis, also known as shy bladder syndrome, is a condition in which a person has difficulty urinating in public situations or with others present. It can be a challenge in shared bathrooms or relationships where intimacy is a factor. Pleasure without sex. It's possible to experience sexual pleasure without the need for sexual intercourse. Erogenous stimulation of other body parts, such as the neck, breasts, or thighs, can lead to orgasm in some individuals. Positive body language, confident posture, and positive body language, such as eye contact and a smile, can be very attractive. Post-experience. After anal sex, some people may experience temporary sensitivity or discomfort. Resting and caring for the area can help alleviate any discomfort. Prostate orgasm. Prostate stimulation can lead to intense orgasms in men, often achieved through anal stimulation, known as the prostate orgasm. The psychology of sex. Psychology plays a fundamental role in sexual experience. 
Factors such as self-esteem, confidence, and stress can influence desire and sexual performance. Sexual therapy can be a valuable tool to address these issues. Relationship between stress and infertility, chronic stress can affect fertility in both men and women. Stress can impact sperm quality, ovulation, and sexual response. Ovulation and attraction relationship. Some research suggests that women may be more attracted to men with different genetic characteristics during ovulation. This is known as cyclic hypogamy. Risks and injury prevention. Lack of adequate lubrication, rough penetration, or the use of inappropriate objects can increase the risk of injuries. Taking precautions is essential to avoid problems. Nipples are a common erogenous zone in both men and women. Some people experience high sensitivity in their nipples, which can lead to orgasm with proper stimulation. Sex and dreams. Some people experience erotic dreams in which they engage in sexual acts. These dreams can be normal and reflect sexual desires or concerns. Virtual sex. With the advancement of technology, virtual sex has become more common. Couples can maintain intimacy over long distances through video chats and other technological tools. Sex and longevity. Several studies have shown that an active sex life may be related to greater longevity. Endorphins released during sex can reduce stress and improve mood, contributing to a longer and healthier life. Sexual therapy for hypoactive sexual desire disorder focuses on addressing the lack of interest in sex by identifying emotional and physical factors that may be contributing. Post-orgasm syndrome. Some men may experience a feeling of tiredness or drowsiness immediately after orgasm, known as post-orgasm syndrome. This is believed to be due to the release of hormones such as prolactin. Penis size. There is a wide variety in the size of male genital organs. Although the average is usually around 13 to 15 centimeters when erect, sizes vary significantly. Having a larger penis does not necessarily guarantee greater sexual pleasure for the partner, as satisfaction depends on other factors such as technique and communication. Training. Some men practice ejaculation control techniques, such as the start-stop method, to prolong their ability to maintain orgasm. Variable times. The duration of orgasms in men can vary widely from a few seconds to over a minute. Shorter and less intense orgasms are also possible. Vibration and therapy. Vibrations are used in sexual therapy to treat issues such as erectile dysfunction and anorgasmia. Vibrating sex toys can be effective tools in therapy. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.